Welcome to LA Learning Atmosphere.com powered by Omicro World. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Okay, welcome back. We're going to be looking at this. It was still an array, print array element. Now, how can we print an array element? I don't want to. I don't want to do something so so out of point, but I just want to still be on point. Now, remember, we just need to erase this off and start again. Now, I have food here. Now, food. I want to declare the food here. Just three food I need here. I need beans. I need rice. I need yam. Y A M. Now I want to print this out. That is what I want. Just want to do. I want to print it out, and I want to use for statement to print it out. Now let's say is food. Dot salt. Um. Now let's close it. Now let's use the expression of for statement. Now for i is equal to i is equal to zero. Let's close that statement. Now i is lesser than is lesser than is lesser than food 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 is lesser than food dot length you remember I talked about length in our previous video length now um let's close the statement now so let's make an increment of i i plus plus now let's close finally now do not forget we need to print this out now document 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 dot write now okay now this is it we just need to to get it out like food food now this is it now I won't break here I won't break plus double quote inside double quote let me put break statement be arrow for slash break okay now let's run and see now rice 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 now is using this first statement to print it get the length if it's lesser than bring it out by auto and increment here now remember this word i is assigned what integer value which is was zero is i lesser than food dot get the length i mean length do we have one two three Three is greater than what? Is greater than zero. That means is lesser than what? I is lesser than what? Three. Now incremented by what? One, which is I plus plus. I plus plus means increment. Now, the food here is telling us that it is three times. Now let's make two here and see. It's gonna tell us to. Yam is what? Three times. Now let's try and make it zero. It's gonna tell us beans is three times here. Now we just wanted to see how you can print out what your array just the way you want it to look like. Your array can come outside in a way that you, people can see it and um, it is good for you to understand that arrays work like this. Let's see. Does it mean that if we doesn't declare this it would not work less? Okay, I comment. Let's see if it's gonna work. Um, Control X. Let's see if it's gonna work. Yes, it printed once. I see now. Now, what is the help of for statement? For statement help you to print it what three times. Know that it will not come aside. Let's keep changing. Let's keep changing. Let's put one. It will print it just one. Now, I just help us to print it three times because of the increment. Now, remember, three times it is lesser. It is. It is. It is greater than what I. The length is greater than I. I told you the length is three. I I've I've worked with the length in the previous video. You can see one, two, three, which is three. Remember that array always starts from what? A body of what zero to to two. It's seen as what three value. 
is an as what um, three is an as what value values of three and as for the values of three now I want to take note of this why this first statement is happening also printing out three times that is what I want to take care of okay rise three times now do not forget there's an expression here expression applies to print it out oh 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 we have to terminate by doing the increment if we don't terminate maybe something else might happen must give us for loop that means it has no ending well I don't want to work I don't want to on I don't want to remove this and do not forget this can either be in or outside if it's an outside you have to close the statement it still work as the same let's change it to what zero so that you can see it still work as the same you have three times your your increment can either be stated here stated here here or outside which is outside it can either be here to anyway you feel like it can either be here to your increment can either be here to let's see let's turn into what two to give us the last value it didn't that means we need what operator here now let's see it didn't work Um, it can never be inside there. That is what he's trying to tell us here. You cannot declare it inside here. Oh, oh, oh! You can declare it inside here. No, I know of that. It's because of that statement. That's why it's like that. I know it for statement. You can appear. Let's use. Yeah, you can see it here. It count. <laughs> it still print it out, but it count one, two, three. You're supposed to count it out one, two, three. You can see it count it out for us. That means this belongs to this. This belongs to this. This belongs to this. Wow, it's very very nice. Um, for you to understand this how it works, we can remove the break so that it will make it not complete, not complex. Yeah. Okay. Let's do it like this. Let's see how it's gonna work. You can see it where zero. Z uh, um, this is the first printout which is 0, yam 0, yam 1, yam 2. Now it is an orderly in an array form because help of this. If we take this out, if we take this out of here, it's not going to print it out in orderly anymore. If we leave it here, it's not going to print it out orderly anymore. It's going to just print out what the leading yam 3 times for us. I just wanted to see the difference between working with what an array in element printing it out using for statement and using a expression of what conditional statement here to undo some of your array. See you in the next video.